Looking back at this timeline series, I wasn't quite sure exactly what I truly wanted to do with it. This is the third time I have attempted to give this a shot, and this pandemic gave me the perfect opportunity to go back and revisit everything. I knew one thing I wanted to do was answer some questions a lot of people have concerning certain parts of the timeline that don't quite make a lot of sense. That's how we landed here with this video on how did Rick survive in the hospital for 59 days. Most people probably think this just has to be timeline misunderstanding, but Dr. Edwin Jenner at the CDC was trying to find a cure for 63 days when he tipped the vial over causing the CDC building to decontaminate his lab. That night the group showed up at the CDC so this proves the timeline is correct. That being said, welcome to the Walking Dead universe and this is part 2 of our full Walking Dead universe timeline. We all know it's pretty common knowledge that we need food and water to survive and three days without water would mean Rick would have woken up and started walking around in a completely different way than we saw. So let's look at the clues that we can find to see what we can come up with to how he survived. I'm also going to go over some info that I found that some fans have come up with that doesn't make much sense either, just to discredit it just for our own fun. A lot of fans like to look at the flowers that Rick wakes up to. We remember him half remembering Shane bringing in the flowers when he went to visit. Now there really is no way to guess at what point in time this happened. Some theories suggest that Shane brought him flowers around a week before he woke up to do the fact that of how the flowers were dried. This obviously makes no sense being that Shane and Lori both saw Atlanta get napalmed on day 15. They set up the camp at the quarry soon after that. Unless Shane was running back to the hospital to leave Rick flowers, Shane wasn't at the hospital for 45 days. Possibly someone could have been going around the hospital after that and leaving flowers, but it just seems very unlikely. The next thing Rick does is drink a gallon of water from the faucet and heads out of the room. Now we need to notice that some of the lights are flickering on and off, but that means that there is still some power in the building. Now hospitals are supposed to have on site enough fuel to power a generator for 96 hours of power at about 40% of the hospital. So pretty much what is just necessary. So being the fact that there is still some power left in the hospital, someone had to keep that generator going. It could have been hospital staff that was left trying to keep people alive, or even some military that stayed to help them as well since they were never able to evacuate to Atlanta. Now just to quickly touch on the military, we get a quick look when Rick leaves the hospital. We can see where the helicopter and military vehicles are left. Two things either, the ones that were left were helping protect the hospital and local area, had just left or been killed because all that equipment, vehicles, and crates of supplies are still there. So either they were there for very recently, or someone has not come by and took everything as of yet. That would be a gold mine of supplies. Possibly where Morgan got some ammunition and weapons from later on, if no one found all that stuff. I know there was a webisode called The Oath that took place in the hospital as well that explained who wrote the famous words, don't open dead inside. There was a nurse there as well that stated she was the only one that stayed. It's possible there was someone else and she was just lying. She was a bit unhinged, so she could have been lying or even someone came after the events in the webisode as well. But let's look at this nurse that is found dead by Rick. This is who I believe was taking care of him. For one, her lower half is eaten, but she still has limbs. She was killed by walkers and not put down by the military because we can't see a bullet hole wound to the head or any part of the brain area that would destroy the stem cell. Could be possible she was killed by a bullet somewhere else, but wouldn't explain her being half eaten. She has to be freshly killed or at least within a day because she isn't decomposing like the bodies out behind the hospital and she hasn't turned. She had to have been the one taking care of Rick and just got killed by walkers. Maybe supplies were in the other hospital wing that had walkers and she was unable to get tons of supplies all at once. Honestly, who knows how many patients would have been left at the hospitals across the country. Luckily for Rick, someone decided to take that extra step and make sure he made it through right up until he woke up from his coma. With that being said, that brings us to my personal explanation of how Rick Grimes was able to survive all that time in his coma. Well, that is all I have for you today, guys. Thank you for watching this video. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. 
Also, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up because it does help out the channel. And I will talk to you guys all in that next video.